-hmm. All right, everybody. So these bushings here, I didn't realize how deep they went. They're what's holding us in. So I couldn't get them out because of how they're set up. Show that down in there. Can you see that? So they're a little metal bushing with rubber. I have them in the bag new. So what I got here was a three-fourths bumper bolt that I found because I have bolts everywhere that I save with a coarse thread. Um, and so see it, if you can see the thing's spinning now. So I'm slightly threaded in to the bushing. See, oh, it came out. So this is why it's working because of the bumper bolts and body bolts have that type. This is from my 97 Dodge Ram. You may find another one that's better, but so the fact that I'm getting it to spin, I'm locked in. So I need to do this, but get it to lock. See what I'm doing? It's moving. It's just not enough yet. Um, and that's what we're going to do for a few minutes. And then as I get them, I'll show you. If you can get something in there, I tried to take a screw head like this and grab the bushing type from behind, but I couldn't get it. Um, you can't damage us. Um, if you have like a, a uh, bolt extractor type, maybe you could get it in there just right, tight, and then pull it out. But I'm just going this way. As you see, I'm moving the bolt. I can't see anything. I know, I'm, I'm moving the bushing. The more I do this, it's just going to take over and over and over. And then hopefully the more I spin, it makes a little progress on its looseness. So what? Just so you see, that one's not spinning. I can't see anything. Okay, well I'm in it, and then it loses. I'm barely in it. If I had slightly, slightly smaller thread body bolt, we'd be in, and I could tighten it. See, I'm getting it, and I'm spinning it. Now the good thing is, the more I do that, I might make it loose, because it's this part I'm going to show you. It's a rubber, bu it's a metal bushing sleeve with a rubber bushing over it. It kind of so they go in that deep, which is past there and they're holding, but you see they got ridges, which are what's keeping it in. Okay? So yeah, just for the stupid one O-ring right here, you have to spin the whole thing. So I'm gonna tell you straight up, they tell you even 500, depends on what's worth to you, but you know what? It's stupid, but you know what? You change, you let them do it, let them do it. Don't do this yourself, okay? So this is probably part five. I got part four or five already uploading. This might be part six. I don't know. It's so close. Now I'm making a mess. I still got to clean all this RTV off and put the old on too at the end. But I got to clean our RTV while it's apart. <laughs> then blow it off. So this is a, what do you think, four hour job? We weren't video in four hours? Mm -hmm. Yeah, four hours. Sure Hard part was the RTV held it together. So, and you want to be gentle because you don't want to break this $800 part. All right, so that's it for this video. Probably we might add on more. I'll talk to you in a little. I tried bolts. I tried tap and die. Nothing. Finally, I got this. I've been trying it before. It wouldn't work, but I think it was because I spun it a bunch by getting locked in there. and was just spinning. So I get in here, reach under it, and just grab it. But I ate up the rubber a lot, like I said, because it was one inside. I'll get to get that. There we go, guys. There's the two bushings. Now... They were connected to here. See it? Boom. That's what was holding this whole piece in. I'm like fighting. Oh, no. Oh, no. More Careful. Oil. Now, this guy oh. is another bearing system with springs. Don't want to lose that. And yes, more oil. All right. So, here we go. Got those out. Those are what holds the whole thing together. The two stupid rubber bushings. You got a bearing here. I'm going to leave that in place. It sits on a seal. See it? See the seal down in there? Okay. So you want to leave that there. Okay. Do not lose that. Okay. So here's the deal. Eight years later. Eight years. Okay. And this is the problem with these stupid things. There's no ring here. There's no ring here. There's no ring here over here. So I don't know if that will slide right. It will that way. So here's the set. I mean, we did it. I need to clean in there. I need to super clean it. I got to get all that stuff off. I guess I should do that first. And I'll wait and do it all at once. I got to get a wire brush and a scraper. And we got to get the stupid RTV off. Um, it's a disaster. And this guy's sitting down there. I guess that's the way it sits. So 
Can you see that? It's kind of a weird angle. That's it because it's in there. So there's your bearing that holds on that to help it sit. We got it. Look, see what I had to do with the rubber? I like ate it up. So this guy have a new one of these two, so I'm going to replace it. Uh, okay, so we're going to get that. I'm going to get a wire brush and chisel go to town. Probably not going to finish today. Uh, no way. But we're there. Um, if I hadn't videoed, I probably could have done this in three hours or less, though. Videoing does waste time. I had to upload videos, all that kind of crap. And to get more room on my phone. So we're apart. And then I'm going to show you putting it back there, which should be a lot easier. We'll just do little quick parts, okay? I hope this helped you if you decide, hey, I'm an idiot. And I'm going to do this on my own because I don't want to pay $500 because I don't. I think it's getting dim in it. Battery time. I don't know. All right. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Scrub, scrub, scrub. RTV everywhere. Everywhere. All right. See you in a while.